Whitmore Lake High School has a very robust National Honor Society, which does a lot of giving, volunteering, working with our community and our school. It also has a very uh, robust relationship with the Kiwanis Club in Whitmore Lake. That is called our Key Club. Uh, both of these organizations do a lot of work outside of our school and within our school. In addition to working with those types of clubs whose core values are to give and give and give, Whitmer Lake High School would like to honor some of the students who have volunteered for our school above and beyond the requirements of those service clubs. Those students are honored with what we call the, the Community Service Award. Individuals who have earned a, a minimum number of hours above and beyond what they're required to will be distinguished at graduation with a white cord. And I would like to recognize Bailey Adams, Sebastian Adams, Zachary Kobeck, Paige Everard, Brendan Ely, Catherine Romine, and Evelina Taylor for the work they've done, again, above and beyond the requirements of those organizations. They will receive white cords at graduation. Hello, I'm Eric Kobeck, and I'm the Whitmore Lake High School Key Club sponsor. On behalf of myself and Lenore Zlinock, our representative and sponsor from Whitmore Lake Chapter of Kiwanis, we would like to congratulate the class of 2020 on their recent graduation. Key Club is a service-based organization that supports our community through a variety of activities, including hosting Red Cross blood drives throughout the year. Unfortunately, this year we had to cancel a couple of blood drives due to circumstances well beyond our control, but we were still able to collect 104 pints of blood that went directly to local hospitals. The following three seniors are the ones primarily responsible for this. Key Club President, Catherine Romine, Vice President, Paige Everard, and Treasurer, Evelina Taylor. They were all three sport athletes along with being involved in numerous extracurricular activities and I'm amazed at how they were able to juggle everything while still maintaining such a high level of achievement. I know it wasn't easy and I would just like to thank them for all their hard work throughout the years. With that being said, I'm proud to say that they will each be receiving a $250 scholarship from the Red Cross for their efforts. Once again, Catherine, Paige, Evelina, Thank you for all your hard work and congratulations. Hello and congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm Jill Henry and on behalf of myself and Candy Huddleston, it's my pleasure to recognize members of the Whitmore Link chapter of the National Honor Society. National Honor Society is the nation's premier organization recognizing student excellence in four areas, scholarship, leadership, service, and character. The members of the graduating class who participated in NHS this year, and in many cases throughout their high school career, include our co-presidents, Haley Pichette and Evelina Taylor, as well as our vice president, Carissa Stanley. Other members from the class of 2020 include Elena DiDio, Paige Everard, Abigail Fraga, Lindsay Hula, Zoe Koble, Mark Kritzman, Cole Majeski, Catherine Romine, Gareth Romine, Claire Schwenison, Riley Phillips, and Annabella Titro. Seniors, your award will look like the one I've been wearing throughout this video, except it will come in two parts and some assembly is required. You'll want to use probably a stick pin to attach your patch to your stool and then you'll keep the patch after graduation is over and return the stool to the school so that we can use it again in the future. Um, please don't use hot glue or any permanent adhesive um, so that you have to come back and bring us a, a stool that we can't reuse. Congratulations again to the entire class of 2020 and a special shout out to the members of NHS. Thanks.
Hello, I'm Kathy DeKaiser, the school counselor at Wimmer Lake Middle and High School, and I have the pleasure of presenting the DAR Good Citizens Award. Before I do so, however, I first wanna say congratulations to the class of 2020 on a job well done. You've done amazing things throughout high school, and I'm so happy to be able to celebrate you and your accomplishments. While I know a lot of enthusiasm for the award ceremony is because it's when we show you the money, this particular award doesn't come with any monetary prize. It is, however, one of my favorites of the evening. The DAR Good Citizens Program encourages and rewards qualities of good citizenship. The student selected as the school's good citizen must have the qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. So while the bulk of the evening is intended to recognize excellence in the classroom, on the field, and in the community, the DAR Good Citizen Award is about recognizing excellence as a person. I realize that I've spent the last six years hounding you about all things academic, getting good grades, taking challenging courses, establishing good study habits, keeping the doors of opportunity open, and all of those things were important in helping you achieve your next step. But once you leave Whitmer Lake High School, nobody's going to ask you what your high school GPA was or what awards you received while you were here. What does matter now, in college, and for the rest of your life is who you are as a person. Are you kind and compassionate? Are you loyal? Are you courteous? Are you responsible? Do you exercise self-control? Do you contribute to your community? These are the things that are most important. These are the qualities that I want you to strive for. This year's DAR Good Citizen is a perfect choice for this award. One glimpse at his resume, and it's easy to tell why he was selected. He's been a member of the basketball and baseball teams for four years and led the baseball team as captain. He's been an officer for the class of 2020 for four years, acting as both vice president and president. And he's also represented them for four years on student council. He served a school community and the greater Whitmore Lake community through his membership in the National Honor Society and his volunteerism in the youth baseball program and vacation Bible school. He truly cares for other people and chooses activities that enable him to share his gifts and kindness with others. He is the embodiment of a DAR good citizen. By now, I'm sure you've figured out who our winner is. Before I announce him, I want to point out one last aspect of this award. Ultimately, the winner is decided on by his or her peers. I think it says a lot about a student when classmates recognize and honor these qualities in one of their own. Congratulations, Gareth Romine. I'm confident you'll continue to make me, your parents, your classmates, and Whitmer Lake High School proud by demonstrating all the traits of a good citizen and a feisty redhead next year at Grand Valley State University. Anchor up. The Michigan Competitive Scholarship is available to undergraduate students pursuing their first degree and is based on both financial need and merit. To be considered, a student must take the SAT and achieve a qualifying score of 1,200. The following seniors are eligible for consideration for this scholarship based on their excellent SAT scores. Congratulations on your fine performance. Elena DiDio, Peter Esper, Paige Everard, Cole Henning, Lindsay Hula, Zoe Koble, Cole Majeski, Catherine Romine, Claire Schwenison, and Evelina Taylor. Congratulations.